Hey guys, Mars Engine here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so at the time of this video releasing, we are eight and a half hours away from the release of the LR Omega Shenron Carnival banner on the global side of Dokkan battle. And I'm sure, just like me, you guys are all very, very excited to summon for this absolute godly unit on what I'm sure will be an absolutely fantastic banner. So uh, yeah, hopefully for... Uh, Anyone your uh, sarcasm meters nearby didn't explode and cause any permanent damage to you or your household. But yes, LR Omega Shenron is coming soon. Um, hopefully the banner will change. I did make a video about this a little bit earlier, talking about the potential inclusion of the uh, anniversary part two carnival LRs, who have never returned on global, which would obviously make the banner significantly better. Um, but we are going to take a look at the banner. I always do one of these summon or skip videos when the banner is about to drop where we talk about the banner in a bit more detail and what I think you guys uh, should or shouldn't do. As always, these summon or skip videos are aimed mostly at players who are free to play or who don't spend much money in the game. Like maybe you spend a few bucks here and there um, and obviously you still need to be a bit careful with your summons, right? You might buy some stone packs, maybe you buy some tickets every now and then, but it still doesn't mean you can afford to go crazy on every single banner. And this information is obviously more so aimed at those players. If you are a massive whale or a collector or just someone who really loves the LR Omega Shenron for whatever reason, maybe you're on some sort of crazy GT bosses agenda and you're going to punish yourself over and over again trying to make that team look good in events, then obviously you're going to summon on the banner regardless of what I say, right? But this is for people who ideally want to be able to spend their stones in the most effective way and get the most value, especially when we consider not only the banner itself, but everything that will be coming out in the future. So if we take a look over here at this uh, tweet from our boy Proton from earlier today with the data download, this goes over everything that was in there that we know of. So of course, we're getting Omega Shenron. Uh, we're getting the promo movie. This is obviously confirmed in the news with the incoming... Um, addition of the LR Omega, uh, the Omega stage to the Shadow Dragon event, as well as the uh, burst mode for the Shadow Dragon's Dokkan Fest event. And then, of course, Global Dokkan tweeted out the actual English translations for the unit. So, of course, his arts and everything were in there. We're getting Super Battle Red stage 48 coming out tomorrow as well, with all of this stuff, the EZA for the Freezer, Cell, and Goku. Be a very, very easy one. It's like GT Heroes is the uh, bonus category, but... As we can see down here, as we kind of assumed that we would be, we are getting tickets for the banner. Now, interestingly, there are the two different kinds of tickets here. So we have the uh, Rising Dragon Carnival tickets and the premium Rising Dragon Carnival tickets. Now, the interesting thing about these is that they're often available in different ways, right? I don't imagine that we're going to be getting any of these for free. Because um, obviously some banners do have the format where every time you summon you get some tickets. That's usually reserved for things like the Anniversary or Big Jewel Dokkan Festivals like that. So why I imagine this will be is the kind of thing that we've seen in the past. Where you can buy a couple of these smaller packs of the Rising Dragon Carnival tickets. Potentially it'll be in multiples of seven, right? Where you use seven tickets to do a multi to get seven units, which will be guaranteed SSR. And then as you buy the cheaper packs, it then unlocks the ability to buy the more expensive pack, which will come with the premium ticket. And that will be something like the premium ticket gives you a 20 unit multi and the final unit of the multi is a guaranteed feature. That's usually what it means when they have the premium uh, tickets, right? But obviously that's not confirmed here at all in any way. Way. it literally just shows that these tickets have been added into the files like in the data right so these two different types of tickets will be available i do believe that they are both uh, purchasable and not available for free but of course we'll see once the game comes out so i always say when we talk about these banners global seems to pretty consistently get purchasable tickets for basically every banner now which uh Obviously, it is good if you are a spender and you're somebody that wants to go after the specific unit because it means you can potentially get them with the tickets and then all the stones that you have saved up already can obviously go towards whatever the next banner is that you want to summon on if you don't get lucky on that one with the tickets as well. So if you are somebody who spends in the game, 
uh, tickets usually are good value just because when you add it up for like the price of the tickets and how many units you then are able to summon if you convert that over to buying stones and how many stones you would have to buy to summon the exact same number of characters the tickets work out to be cheaper that's the only main reason right the difference is the tickets can only be used on that specific banner so if you want to summon on that banner it is better value to buy the tickets than it is to just buy stones and spend them on that banner so obviously you know not useful for free to play players at all but definitely something that is good if you are a whale or a collector now one thing somebody did comment actually the video i posted about the uh change potential changes to the banner and could we see the kai goku and the z gohan somebody said that the banner art was in the data download um but i've looked through this thread and i don't see it anywhere so unless i have just missed it and um, we don't have the banner art because usually they don't drop those unless it is like a big fancy um, animated one which i don't think this one is because obviously this is the banner art as it appeared on jp if this had like a special animation on it or something like that it would potentially be in the data download and then obviously we would see whether the goku and the future gohan and trunks are still on there because if you missed the video that i did earlier the big thing that i talked about and you should go check it out to get more of the details about why I think this is probably going to happen. But Carnival LR banners, the standalone ones, just like the one we got for the Super Saiyans at the end of the year, are always three LRs featured. So we have the new Omega Shenron, we have STR Carnival Goku, and then we have AGL Future Gohan and Trunks. And then the other featured units are Tech, Nova and Ice, Physical, Nova, Tech, Sin, Physical, Sin, the Int, Cell, and Physical Freezer that are getting their easy A's, and the Int, Cells are as well. And then, of course, there's an SR, Omega, and an SR, Super Saiyan Goku, because, you know, we've got an SSR, Super Saiyan Goku on there, so why not for the uh, Super Attack fodder? Which is cool. I kind of like that they do the featured, SS, uh, featured SRs on banners like that now, so you can kind of awaken these guys into SSR, get a 50% chance to level up the uh, Super Attack of the units that you've just pulled. I think that is pretty good. So... When we look at the banner and it comes to summon or skip, oh boy, is this a difficult one uh, to try and make sound good, is what I should say. Because if this banner doesn't change at all, this is probably one of the easiest skips. I mean, I think we just said that about Tech Trunks, that his banner was one of the easiest skips. But this one really is an easy skip because Omega, as good as he actually is as a unit, I did a separate video kind of going over his details like fully. But he as a unit in a vacuum, if you just read his passive and pretend that GT Bosses is a good team. He's really good. <laughs> the problem is he really wants to be on a team with full GT Bosses allies, so he gets this full damage reduction. But GT Bosses is not a good team, and that is the problem. So the unit itself is good, it's just that the team he's on is not very good. So if you're somebody trying to summon and get the most value for your stones, if you dump a bunch of stones into this banner and you pull Omega Shenron, it's like now you can run a 200% GT Bosses team but that team is not particularly good. Um, you know, we're going to get the easy A for LR Baby soon, and he's going to be one of the best units on that team. Um, but the team itself, for the most part, is just very, very weak. So it's uh, definitely not, I think, a tough decision for most people. And it shouldn't come as much of a surprise to anyone that I think this banner is an easy skip if you are someone who needs to be careful about your stone usage, right? Because if you think about what we know is going to be coming in the future, like this banner and this second part, or I guess it's not really a second part of the trunk celebration, but this celebration, the mini Omega celebration, whatever they're going to call it in game, maybe it is part two of whatever the current one is. Um, this will carry us right through to the end of February. And then that will bring us up to the next uh, release, which will be the Androids. And then, of course, they have a part two LR, which is Ribrienne. And then that takes us up to March, where we will, of course, be getting Saiyan Day. Now, last year for Saiyan Day, we got Physical God Goku, who remains one of the best TURs in the game. So if the new Saiyan Day unit is on that similar sort of level of power where they come out. I mean, when God Goku came out, he was the best TUR in the game. So if the Saiyan Day unit comes out and is the new best TUR in the game, you're probably going to want to have stones to summon for them and not have wasted a bunch of them summoning for LR Omega Shenron, right? Even the androids and LR Ribrienne, 
pretty easy skips. Now, for global, by the time the androids come out, we will know if Tournament of Power or their leader skill tournament participants gets buffs during the anniversary, which will then be an informed decision for global players whether they're actually worth summoning for or not, or more so at least when, than when they came out on JP. Um, but if no massive, you know, Tournament of Power, Reps of Universe 7, those kind of things, none of those buffs come out for the anniversary, the androids will be a pretty easy skip as well. But of course, we'll talk about that once we actually get to the point where the androids are going to come out. So... Basically, you've got between now and March, nothing really crazy to draw your stones until we see what is going to be the Saiyan Day unit. On JP, we're going to see all the anniversary stuff very soon. So that gives you an idea of what that, well, I say gives you an idea that we'll know what the anniversary stuff is going to be for July in Global, which of course, for free to play players, those should be the things you're setting your sights on is when Saiyan Day comes, we will already know what the anniversary units are which will let you decide whether you want to save everything to go for them, whether you want to drop some of your stones to go for the Saiyan Day unit, or, you know, there might be some people out there, depending on the character choices, depending on how powerful they are, some people might want to go all in for the Saiyan Day unit over the anniversary units, and for Global we do at least get that sort of uh, information ahead of time for now, while the games remain unsynced. But when it comes to Omega Shenron, <laughs> I mean, nothing has come out since his release on JP that has significantly buffed GT bosses. That team desperately needs some sort of new Dokon Fest. It needs the Ginyu treatment, where we get like a really good Dokon Fest with like two side banner units or something, potentially. Um, but until then, GT boss is not great. Omega is a good unit, but he's just kind of lost in the shuffle without having that solid team to back him up. And then when it comes to the banner lineup, the banner lineup is terrible. If they do decide to put on Kai Goku and Z Gohan instead of the STR Carnival Goku and Gohan and Trunks, that does increase the value of the banner a little bit, but I would honestly still say it's a pretty easy skip. I mean, if you're missing both of those anniversary LRs and you can spare some stones to do a few multis or you want to get some of the tickets, then maybe that would be worth it. If the banner has discounted multis, maybe it'd be worth a try for those. But even with adding those anniversary part two carnival LRs onto the banner, I really don't think it has that much value overall. Um, unless, you know, again, maybe you're sort of like 50 carnival coins away from 500 to be able to get a carnival LR and you can spare those 250 stones, maybe drop a couple of multis. But I would say if they don't change the banner lineup at all, then this is an easy skip, right? Even if you do just need a couple of multis to get some carnival coins, probably not worth doing on these banners, unfortunately. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Are you going to be summoning? Obviously, you know, as a content creator, I will be summoning for Omega so we can make videos on him. I will be live tomorrow morning, uh, half an hour before the banner comes out. So if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out, basically eight hours from now, I will be live on the channel and then when the banner drops we will jump in and hopefully get some good luck. We did okay with Trunks, didn't have to spend too many stones and then got out of there with a good amount left over. So hopefully we will be able to do the same thing for Omega and hopefully his banner is going to be changed and will be a little bit better. But if it is like this then I really can't recommend anyone summon on it. So let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments section. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.